Howdy folks. Uh, just popped into Napoleon here and as I was coming in to do a drop and hook, seeing this guy bobtailing in, you gotta get your eyes on this thing. It is freaking sweet. Uh, guy says he's got a flat floor here. Just talked to him a second ago. Uh, he showed me the flat floor. Man, this thing is good looking. I don't know what year this thing is, but man, is it gorgeous. Man, let's get our eyes on that thing there. Scoop on that. That is just good looking. Uh, not sure the year yet, but uh, let's go talk to this guy real quick. Tell me, we're scoping the good stuff when I can. Looks like he's about to slide his tandems. What year is this truck? What year is this? 1998. 98. 98. They put they put engine in 1999. Really? Pro sleeper, man. He's got all kinds of room in there. Eagle. That is sick. That is sick. Who's kidding who? Oh my God. Salem, Ohio. Well, this thing sounds great too. Looks good, sounds good. Uh, let's go talk about the specs he's got on here. What are the specs on the truck? 190 is real base. Uh, 1270 Detroit, 10 direct with 279s. What, uh, what horsepower you got? 430, 470. Nice. Yeah, it's a nice looking truck, that's for sure. How long have you owned it? Since uh, 05, I bought it 750,000. It's got 2 million, 110,000. Holy shit, did you hear that? And you've been running it ever since then? Yeah, I'm the second owner. Bag nice. Bag of refrigerated line. Bought it brand new out of Crazy, Minnesota. Y'all like the way it looks. You're the you're owner operator and everything? Got your yep. authority? No, awesome. that's my buddy. Oh, buddy. gotcha. 150 gallon tanks. Factory like cab. Oh, yeah. I, I can eat a bowl of soup on the console going down the road. I bet. Right, it's really good. Yeah, it's sharp, that's for sure. What do you pull? Yeah, what do you guys pull? Well, I, I, I do stuff for J.B. Hunt Snyder, and we have our own beans as well. Right on. Yeah, I, that's what I do with these containers. You pull about everything, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've, I did that for a long time. Containers? Oh, that's good stuff. I don't know about all that. Well, I, I just run low, but I live 11 miles down the road and only go 24 miles of ramp from here, and I pretty much just run back and forth and shuttle stuff, so it's not too I bad. I usually stay within about 200 miles of London. Yeah, it ain't bad. I spend maybe one night a month out. Right on. Yeah, that's not bad at all. But I mean, in this, you got a flat floor. You could live in this thing if you really oh, need yeah, it. Oh, yeah, well, I have. I've had it in every state in the country. Oh, yeah, I believe it. Look how soft the suspension is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I bet. I got a friend who's got a 95 W900. Yeah. 250 inch wheelbase. His truck broke down. I gave him a ride like 120 miles. He looked at me real like embarrassed like. He said, I yeah. admit this deep. I said, what? He said, you're from 500 miles. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this thing's I'm sweet. I'm meticulous about it. Like oh, that. Oh yeah, it's, it looks really problem. good. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, so does that thing, but for being an 83, I don't even care. You know what I mean? I, it can stay the way it is. I think this is cool. I mean, just a little bit of touch up. I'd run it just the way it is. I wouldn't even do anything except for where, you know, if you got some salt spots that are eating it up, but it looks really good for being original. And I love the way that green is up there. Yeah, who, pay, who painted the other side there? My son. Yeah, that's, all, that's awesome. Yeah, who's kidding who is? I'm making the same money as the oh. guy with the $165,000 That's why uh, Peterbilt, I that 38, Peterbilt 389. Yeah. yeah. I get more attention than they do. Hey, man. You're like a movie star with this stuff. Uh, I know, dude. Trust me, I know. That's awesome. Yeah, I just figured I'd try to snag you. As soon as I pulled up, well, I was coming around the corner, and I seen it, and I was like, yep, I got to try to catch that guy. I wish I didn't have so much junk inside of that. Oh, it's inside. fine. It's fine. 
I see. I see it with my own eyes. That was good enough. I, I like the way that, that is. Was that shit on on for you to jump with that? I bet. You all that you got that raised roof too, so that's awesome. I've seen the flat floors and stuff without, yeah. but I've never seen one with that raised roof. A flat floor, flat top, 110 inch cab is really hard to find. Yeah. A lot of them were 89 inch cabs or the, or the condo. Right. Just the 110, but it's the condo. Yeah, this thing is sick. Oh yeah, I've just, just talked to another. Every state in the union. Yeah, and you've you've probably had this thing paid off for uh, so many years to yeah, where I put I put twenty seven thousand in it last year. Yeah, it's like I'm like the motor thing we built three times, one time they didn't do it right. So, but I'm I'm not complaining. I don't it want looks, nothing to do with the You know, with the frame and, and everything looks really, really good. Oh, yeah, look at this. Came out of Minnesota when they when they uh, brought them back in for the weekend where they parked in their car. How did you get? Like look at look at this axle. Whoa, whoa. No scabs. No, that thing is super clean. I think I wash it 40 times a year. Oh, you got the automatic shut off? You got yeah. the big bags too, that's great. Yeah, I can I could have kicked the idle off. I was originally set at three minutes, but I didn't change the five. This has cruise and everything in it? Oh yeah. Yeah, this thing's awesome. It's even got you know what off the idle is? Nope. Never heard of it. There's a it's only on Detroit's. Yeah. There's a, a control in, in the bunk. And you can set it two, four, six, or eight degrees. So let's say you want it 70 in the truck. So you, you, you set it on 70 and let's say set it at two degrees, set it four degrees. Yeah. So if it goes up to 74, truck starts up, turns air conditioning on. Nice. Pulls it down, wow. it drops down to 66 and it's shut. Same with the heat. Since it's a 98? Yeah. Wow, yeah. There's they... another feature on the on the Opti Idle where if the truck's gonna be sent for on the voltage gets below a certain while you can program so once it drops say below 12.6 volts. It'll, it'll start. start up. That yeah. way it doesn't the drain the batteries. Come, most you know a lot internationals back before computer they had line setting tickets. Yeah. Which you probably that sounds familiar, right? When they go down assembly line, what they get. Most trucks have two. This has got three, it's got an 18,000 pound steer axle. Uh, 15 and a half inch plug, heavy duty drive shafts. It's it's spec very, very nice. Yeah, it looks like it it just probably handles really and good too. I can show you on the computer for the last six thousand miles got eight point two eight point five miles. Jesus criminy. I, I don't know any trucks that get that fuel mileage. I need to trade you. I need to find something I guess. Shoot what, what's in that? 855 Cummins? Yeah. Cheap to refill. Yeah, well. What's your YouTube channel? My name, Chad Keegan. Just right there on the side. See it under the American flag? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I just started about uh, two months ago because I've got a Aerodyne that's a 90 and uh, somebody pulled out in front of me and I smoked them. So I, uh, it's getting rebuilt at the shop, but I gotta wait for it to get in. So. Yeah, yeah, this thing ain't spring right everything. So this, but I mean, I've been running this thing for this is gonna be my third summer, and it's not really that bad once I get a little bit of weight with that 165 wheelbase. Once I hit the some of the bridges, it's got that kickback. But I got a boss from seat in there, so I do okay. See, that's another one. See the frame on here. See how it goes wide and tapers to thin. Yep. That's off. That's optional. It's supposed to do away with that bucking. Nice. Whether it's conventional or, or cabinet from international, that's an option. So some frames are just straight all the way. I don't forget what they call it, but it's, it's supposed yeah. to do, keep away from that. But the fair ride cap. It's awesome. Well, it's nice meeting you and good talking Chad, to you. I appreciate it. You too, man. I'll write that down before I forget. That's a, I'll stay here for a second so you can get it. Such a beauty. You don't see these things on the road very often. Especially the fact that, uh, oh yeah, he's got the nice loud horns. Especially the fact that it's not the uh, shove forward one. This thing is just amazing. This is cool. Well folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I gotta get back in the truck because I still got two more loads to do. But uh, other than that, it's good seeing this and seeing somebody else's old truck down the road that's for sure it's got the original plate on there too you may have to give him a jump but uh other than that until the next time you know what we say we will see you